I said, you're sealing your fate well. Contract's gone. Consequences in three days. Still time to fix it. But smash the dragon status. There's no turning back. Still spouting nonsense. When it's all said and done, Alex, shut up and figure out how many deliveries it will take to afford a flat. <laughs> That's right. Your words cannot change anything. I'm up to my sect. Girls, see you at the feast tonight. All right. I must return to Tempo. I will leave the preps to missing monks. Don't worry. Young master, here you are. So this is your fiancé, a delivery boy. Rest assured, the marriage contract is already torn. My heart will always be with you. Oh, let me introduce you. The third son of the dragon claim the wealthiest in Great Sha. Their influence spans globally with immense power. August is the most outstanding among the younger generation. And is the designated here. You're not even qualified to hold a candle. He's a loser, Mona. Calling off this marriage is the best decision you've ever made in your life. Because only the Drago clan can promise the brightest future for the Simmons clan. I know that, Alexiker. You can crawl back to your sewer. And carry on with your pathetic, hopeless life. <laughs> Let's go! Impressive, the Nightclads. Daring to define heavens and dragons. I will lend you a hand at your so-called feast as a warning. B bad news, miss. Of the night, eight have called off the marriage contract. You are the last one. What? They are planning some feast to destroy the dragons completely. The night dragons granted our clans a century of prosperity to find heaven. Are they mad? Miss Ford, do me a favor. <sighs> Miss, you're... No time to explain. I must stop and add a feast. Remember, bring that thing to me. Honor to meet you, Mrs. Moore. Abbot Vanity and Warren Zachary. Mr. Drago, any news on the deliver boy? Mrs. Moore. Yes, his name is Alex Yeager. However, why would masters like you go through such lengths for a delivery boy? How dare you! That was a peerless hero who slayed three demons with a single sword strike! Slayed three demons? Weren't the three demons taken down by the three of you? We couldn't even withstand one of their moves. If it weren't for his help, we would probably have fallen by now. Then, Alex Yeager's strength is way beyond my comprehension. His swordsmanship seems to embody a touch of a primitive essence of Tao. The only the founder of the Tao Sex Masters. Yet even, he pales in comparison to Yeager's power. His moves echo the ancient Buddhist sense chants, like... No, his swordsmanship vast enough to blanket the sky appears to have a shared ancestry with the legendary founder of our war god temple. Regardless of his identity, he's a supreme master we must all respect. Today, the Dao sect will prepare a generous gift and pay him a visit. Buddhist sect too. So will the war god temple. <laughs> it's hard to believe that the three greatest sects all revere Alex Yeager above all. I seem to have heard his name before. Whatever, Drago clan must also prepare gifts and establish tie with this hero. Mr. Simmons, your family business is thriving! First carrying the project worth 10 billion, then launching a maritime fleet carrying goods worth 100 billion. Once these projects are completed, Mona will lead your clan to become a top tier financial group in Great Shah. Truly established as a commercial giant! Mr. Queen, I'm flattered. All of this is thanks to Master Dragon. True, serving the Dragon is an honor. Hi. All we did was provide a platform. It's all Mona's own merit. By the way, Mr. Queen Stella has gained the favor of Flame Dragon War God. She will soon become War Godness. That is truly a great achievement. Mr. Simmons, that's not fair. We have expertise in different areas. It's natural that our achievements vary. However, it must be said that Chloe is truly impressive. Sentence of the Dalsak. She has extraordinary talents for sure. She still has a long journey ahead. In terms of background and influence, the dragon claim remains the most powerful. Well, here's to the young master. Here! Unite under the dragon clan! The nine clans are destined to reach the pinnacle of glory! You won't even see tomorrow. Land of long glory. How dare you! Insult the nine noble clans! Alex Yeager, how dare you show up here? I can go wherever I want. 
You are the descendant of that charlatan. Apparently, you're just a nobody. Your ancestor welded dragons to alert fate, yet couldn't make you look decent. Dad, he's just the liver guy. He's nothing but a low life. I'm quite impressed that a low life like you could even make it here. But alas, brave yet utterly senseless. Truly pitiful. Today's dragon slaying feast is attended not only by the nine great clans, but also by the nation's elite, such as the dragon clan, the worker temple, and Thousand. You're merely a nobody. What right do you have to stand there? This is the province's grandest banquet, where the top angelists gather, and here you are spouting nonsense. You have a death wish, don't you? You disrespected deity, ended marriage, and now defy the heavens. Slay dragons. Seems like you guys are courting death. Boy, those delivery orders must have got your brain messed up. In great shot, nobody dares challenge the dragon class or lay a finger on my girl. Your wish for death will be fulfilled once Rosalie arrives and cancels the marriage with you. I, Rosalind James, will never end this marriage. I, Rosalind James, will never end this marriage. Rosalind, why are you wearing a wedding dress today? I'm here to fulfill marriage contract. From now on, I'm your wife. With this ring on, we will be together forever. He's quite handsome. Not a bad deal. I'm getting married. Rosalind, with the ancestral spirits and witnesses, do you do realize what you're doing? Of course I do. But don't you realize this marriage is reversible and the statues are sacred? My grandfather always said the night clans thrived because of the blessing of the night dragons. Now. We are flourishing. We should show gratitude, honor our roots, not betray, and forsake them. Rosalind James, your claim is undoubtedly the weakest of us all, but your foolishness is truly unmatched. Believing such baseless fairy tales for generations is due to some kind of simple-minded loyalty to tradition, or you're simply being stupid. She's right. The rise of the Queen Clan was due to our own determination. Not some ridiculous dragon's fortune. Rosely, James, as the heiress to the Jane claim, don't be so obstinate. Otherwise, the eight of us will unite and ostracize your claim. You, you will regret this. Get her out. Shame on her. She. You think you can ostracize her? You're thinking too highly of yourselves. The Jane's clan values morality, repays kindness. They deserve the dragon's support. Well. You clans challenge dragons with disloyalty. Aren't you afraid of the karma getting you? Enough nonsense. If karma exists, come for my clan. Welcome. Dad, Dad, are you alright? Bring it on. Dad, Dad, are you alright? Alex Zager, are you the one behind this? Challenging the dragons, risks, annihilation. No rush. The judgment has just begun. Hmm? This is the dragon breath. I'm offering you one last chance. Honor the status with three kneels and nine bows before it dies to make amends for the contracts. I might consider resealing them back to the lake, or. Light eyes, luck ends, karma comes. You do. It actually lead itself. Did truly have divine powers? <laughs>